let's see what special days we have today. Okay, so it's National Big Wig Day, National Kazoo Day. You know, surprisingly, I actually uh, have a kazoo at home because of my kids. Data Privacy Day, National Blueberry Pancake Day, National Fun at Work Day. I definitely think you guys need to uh, observe this one today. Uh, and then National Gift of the Ladybug Day. Not sure what that is. Um, so yeah, lots to celebrate this Aloha Friday. I definitely think uh, National Fun at Work Day. So it's the last Friday of January is always National Fun at Work Day. So today, uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, this, this, I'm reading again, Psychology of Money, great book so far. I'm on chapter six, and, and the title of the chapter was Tales You Win. And basically, what they're talking about in terms of tales is a tale event. And a tale event is those one in a million, one in a thousand event that kind of makes up the difference for all of the um, failures. So what they're talking about here is that in business and in finance, there's going to be a lot of failures and only a few successes. And basically one of the quotes they had in there is you can fail half the time or even 75% of the time. Yes, yeah, those times that you do succeed and win that make up all the difference. And I find this often in business for sure with all the business owners I know, Right, the successful ones, when I talk about what their career was like, they, they've they said many times they've had failed businesses, almost went bankrupt. The most successful people I know, they were on the brink of failure, had failed, or actually were near bankrupt. Yet they're hugely successful now because they're one or two decisions, right, of all of their bad decisions. There's one or two good ones that make up all the difference. In the book, they also gave a couple examples, and let me pull up this uh, put together just a couple notes, yet there's many, many really good points that they made in the book. Uh, they talked about Disney. So Disney's first studio went bankrupt, right? We all know Disney of producing great films. Many of you probably have Disney Plus like me. Yeah, they said by the 1930s, they'd produced more than 400 films, you know, hundreds of hours of, of, of film, yet most lost money. Yet it was that one movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs that made all the difference. They made $8 million in their first six months. So basically what they had said was of the three or 400 hours of film that lost them money, it was the 83 minutes of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs that made them famous, put them on the map and set them up for success. They also talked about venture capitalist funds and gave examples there. Now, many of you probably hear, oh, VC, venture capitalists, these are these funds that you know, lots of money, big, big investors go in and they always make money. And it's true, many venture capitalist funds make a lot of money. Yet in a study that they did between 2004 and 2014 of 21,000 funds, of those 65% of the investments inside those funds lost money. Yet 2.5% of the companies in there made 10 to 20 times and half a percent made more than 20%. Right, so examples of where you can have a lot of failures, you just need a few big winners. And then in the Russell 3000, okay, so Russell 3000 is a top 3000 performing uh, companies in the stock market. So since 1980, the Russell 3000 has increased more than 73 times. So we would say that's a successful investment if you're investing in the Russell 3000. Yet in there of all the companies since 1980, 40% of them failed and 7% performed really well, and that made up all of that return. So what does this all mean to you guys, right? Investing, it's the same way. I, I find many investors, first-time investors that I work with, they're scared to get started because they're worried they're gonna make a decision that hurts them financially. So I'd say one of the first things that we have to do, number one, is start investing, yet number two, definitely don't invest or put more than the amount that's comfortable or that would set you back financially if it was a failure. Now, of course, of course, when we invest prudently for the long haul, right, we would likely choose well-diversified funds because in those funds, they're usually built up of hundreds or thousands of different companies, and there's likely gonna be some failures, yet it's that small portion of winners that make up all the return. And we know not to uh, use past history to determine future success, yet historically, over the past 200 years, anyone that's had a well-diversified portfolio, invested for a long period of time, 
and invested consistently where the good times are bad, all right? We look at the stock market right now, it looks bad. Yet it's these times when we stay disciplined, we stick to the long-term threshold and the goals. Those are the people that can stick to it that always make out long-term. So that's the tip of the week. Great seeing you all. And I'll see you next Friday. Have a great weekend and enjoy National Fun at Work Day.